A group of students at Clarion University were set for the opening night of a stage production. Then they got the news the show must not go on. Brenda Waters has the story. We put all this work in. I just can't finish the last section. It's like, like nothing's going to get finished. The set hasn't been torn down yet, but the marquee outside Little Theater on the campus of Clarion University reads, this production has been canceled. The play, Jesus in India, was to be performed on the stage behind me next Wednesday. But there'll be no opening night. The playwright has demanded it be canceled. His reason? Ethnic composition. On Monday afternoon, I received an email from the playwright telling me that he demanded that we recast the show with Asian the actors or shut down our production. A lot easier said than done for the primarily white state university. We don't have a, a large population of Asian students at the university. We opened our auditions to all of the students at the university. Jesus in India is a contemporary take on the lost years of Jesus Christ as a wayward teenager along his journey to the east, complete with punk rock music and drugs, written by Lloyd Shu. He is a Korean American who writes plays primarily for Asian theaters and Asian companies to provide opportunities for Asian actors. Students had been rehearsing for weeks for the five performance show. The production has cost the university roughly $15,000 in costumes, the set, lighting, and the music score, plus $500 paid to the playwright for the rights. The university will get the $500 back. The six cast members and members of the crew are heartbroken, calling this a tremendous loss. We've all been dealing with this like a death, death in the family. That's what it feels like. This was one of the most exciting shows we could have done here, and it, it's very sad that we don't get to perform it. Keep in mind, the playwright out of New York never saw any rehearsals, just these promotional tweets of the actors. Calls to his agent went unanswered. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.